What's up guys? Okay, so I want to get right to the questions. I don't want to take too long to get to them um, because this might be pretty long. But before I start answering questions, I want to address what the keep is and also go into why they made it and how it started and all that because I think that's kind of important as well to understand the purpose of the keep. The idea for the keep started years ago and it was actually called the world vault. They started to notice a lot of mistakes or like glitches in the way that that your your save or your import was being transferred to 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 further games like say from dragon age origins to dragon age 2 or even dragon age origins to to dragon age awakening like i remember in dragon age awakening um i had made a specific choice with alistair and it didn't it didn't transfer to Dragon Age Awakening. In Dragon Age Awakening, it, it was completely different. And I was like, what? They call these flags. They're, they they mention them as plot flags. Uh, and since Dragon Age is so complex and there's so many different choices and those choices lead to different choices, the complexity made it so hard for them to fix these uh, plot flags. And sometimes when they did try to fix them, they would fix one, but then there would be like a ripple effect. And one ch by fixing one, the rest of them would get messed up. So it was really hard for them to actually fix the problem. So during Dragon Age 2, they started to work on this world vault. And after many months of working on this, this eventually became the idea of the Dragon Age Keep. So the Keep is, is a way for you to make the decision the, the decisions that you made in these previous games have them represented the way that you wanted them uh in dragon age inquisition and in further in further dragon age uh titles because they want the keep to last they want the keep to last as long as there's a dragon age that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand they don't know that background or if they do they think that it's easy to just fix and it wasn't easy for them to fix because of the complexity so at its core level that's what the dragon age keep is but now we'll go into details without me breaking my nda or if you don't know what nda means it's my non-disclosure agreement it poses you questions um, that that pertain to specific choices from the previous Dragon Age titles, and then you make your choice. The Dragon Age Keep is actually browser-based, so it's on the internet. It's not like something that you have to download on a console. You are going to be able to import your final product, your final, uh, your final perfect save, um, to PC, to, to your Xbox 360, to your PS3, to your PS4, and to your Xbox One. Off the bat, you would say, Psh, I want my save file and not have to go through the keep. But if you keep in mind, and you should keep in mind, what I said in the beginning, that there's so many, there's so many problems when it comes to the way that the, the, the games have been imported, and because of these plot flags, your game is your games, your decisions that you made are probably not going to be represented the way that you wanted them to, because we already saw that in previous games. We saw that in Awakening, we saw that in Dragon Age 2. You, things were different, where you're just like, I never made that decision, or I made a different decision, and now I'm seeing a completely different decision. That really bothered me. So knowing that and knowing that it's probably going to be really 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 difficult for them to fix that because they've been trying to they really did try to fix that because of that i almost prefer the keep because i want my my save file i want my story i want my decisions to matter i want my specific warden i want my specific hawk to be represented the way that I wanted them to. And then right now, the only way to do that is through the keep. And since I seriously prefer Bioware to be focusing more on Dragon Age Inquisition itself as a game and not trying to fix everything that, that when it comes to imports, I prefer the keep 100%. Just keep that and then focus everything else on Dragon Age Inquisition. Don't even worry about trying to get save files from previous games to work to transfer directly to, to Dragon Age Inquisition. It's not worth it. In my opinion, if you already have something that's going to do that for you, which is the keep, Perfect. 
I'm not gonna go into detail because I can't, but just remember, if I felt the keep didn't do my game some justice, I wouldn't be saying that. Bioware has said very early on that they were looking into finding a way to import your save file from your games into the, the keep. I kind of doubt that they're going to be able to do that, um, especially with the way that they're really working on the keep as a standalone and the release date is almost here so I, I, I think they should just focus on making the keep as, as, as perfect as they can. So yes, it is about you creating your own custom world state. You could pretty much recreate um, to a certain extent, obviously. Like I said, it doesn't have all the all the freaking uh, choices you can make in the games, but it does have a lot. When you're working on the keep, it's, it's going to be browser-based, so it's going to be on the internet. The way that you transfer it is through the cloud. Is it going to be some kind of file? How do they put it into there? They haven't said that, at least not that I know of. The beta testers aren't really there to test how the keep transfers to your console or to your platform. So could you work on it offline? No. Like any other website, you cannot work on the website if you're offline. You have to be online. When I first got on there, I was like, whoa, I never imagined it to look that way. And I'm going to be absolutely honest here, but when I first saw it, I was kind of let down. But the thing that has actually made my experience and my opinion of the keep completely change almost is the, is the team. The team that is working on the keep, they're so open to feedback. They tell us you, one of your jobs as a keeper, as a beta tester is to, to tell us what you think, to give us feedback, be, feedback. Do you see any plot flags? We're constantly giving them our feedback and they're taking everything into consideration. They, uh, someone asked me, how do you, how do you can, how do you talk to them, to Bioware? We talk on a forum. It's a very active forum uh, and you're actively talking to, to these, to this team. That dedication to listening to us as beta testers and actually having our experience as a beta tester actually matter and you actually feel like a beta tester and it's not just like okay i tested out the beta it was all fun whatever and then they're like Bleh. and sometimes they just add it into a survey or whatever and they're like 25 percent of the people didn't like it and 50 percent liked or something like that you know you're not just a stat here you actually matter and sometimes you see your feedback actually put into the keep. Most important thing for me is that it does its purpose. My experience with the keep has been mostly positive. Uh, initially, I was kind of like, this is different from what I thought. And not that that's, that that's, that's absolutely says nothing because my expectations, it's not like I was going to nail it. Like how the hell was I, my expect expectations going to be exactly what they had in mind. You know, that's just my opinion. I've beta tested a few things in the past games and stuff like that and i've never felt this involved in a beta test as i have here never i was always i always felt like a stat an anonymous stat but in this you're not you're not a, an, an anonymous stat people know who you are you could you obviously you could send in anonymous feedback yes you, you could but um they 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 treat you like a beta tester they treat you like a keeper it's such an awesome environment um people share like pictures of their pets and stuff it's like a thing now at the keep and they're constantly adding people to the beta testers it's not like we're special or anything like that no they're 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 drawing people's emails constantly i'm constantly seeing people new people at, at being added to the to the keep even though you're staying on the same type of platform, like for example, the Xbox 360 to the Xbox One, the PS3 to the PS4, the PC to the PC, uh, the 360 to the 360, that should be easy. It, it, yeah, it could be easy, but first of all, if they did that, you would get, you would most likely get world states that were glitched plot flags it was glitched in in awakening and it was glitched in in dragon age 2 
in many cases not all cases but many cases it was so those people that experience those plot flags will most likely be experiencing them again in dragon age inquisition and do you still want that just because you want to import your save directly i wouldn't want that i'd be like no forget it and also if it's like okay well you know what we'll only provide that option to people that are staying on the same platform or to the people that are staying in the same generation same platform then we'll, we'll just provide it to that to the people that are going Going from freaking 360 to PS4? Screw them. That's one thing that the Dragon Age team has never done. They've never just like, screw those people, you guys that are staying on the platforms, you guys are awesome. So you guys get that choice, but <laughs> these over here, they're stupid for doing that. It's not an app. Um, you could use it on your tablet, and right now it's not working on a mobile, like a mobile uh, phone, but it will. But I, I, even then, um, it, it's going to be a, a browser-based. Now, I don't doubt that Dragon Age Inquisition is going to have apps, uh, like kind of like Mass Effect 3 did, but I, I, that's going to be on a separate note. Whether they're going to make a Keep app, I don't personally know about that. Um, maybe, maybe just for specific reasons, but right now they're only saying it's browser-based and that it's going to work on your tablet. I have tried it on my iPad and it works fine. A lot of the choices and a lot of the features early on didn't work yet. So they were telling us that, you know, what was going to be available later on. And a lot of that is available now, but some of the stuff is still not available for, you know, for technical issues, but also because they're saving that. They're even keeping some stuff from us. Now, the keep is a bit time consuming. It does take a while. There are a lot of different choices. I mean, some of these choices, like I said, I didn't even remember. It's not monotonous because Especially if you're a fan of, of, the, of the series and you've played the previous games, um, you really, at least that's how I felt. I was like, man, I want to remember this stuff. I want it to be fresh in my mind. And I really want to try, especially your first time around, your first world state, you're trying to focus on this stuff, trying to remember this stuff. And they are doing their best to add more con context. You're focused on it and you're not like, ugh. You know what was I reading, or what the hell was I making my choice on, or oh look what's over there? I was like, man, the more the more decisions they add in here, the better. Right now, we don't have the incentive that we're going to have when the game comes out, because when the game comes out, or when the game is almost gonna launch, where you're like, this is the real deal. I'm making my world state. You're gonna be really focused in this. Trust me. You're gonna be like, I need to make this matter. This is it. This is my save import and everybody could have it. It's not like only people that play Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. New people will too. But I, do, I will say this, even though the keep does go into all these choices and stuff like that, this is my recommendation. I'm not, Bioware is making it so, so easy to jump right into Inquisition without playing Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. You are going to be missing out on a lot of stuff. Like, the feeling of it. Like, the way that you get attached to these characters. The Keep isn't going to do that. Um, so my recommendation is, even though the Keep is still there, and people are like, So then, I just replayed Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2 for no reason? No, no, no. <laughs> no, trust me. You, I'm still going to go back and play Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. That's my plan. I want to, because I want to go fresh. I don't care if the keep is available. I mean, obviously, I do care about the keep and what it does, but just because I have the keep available doesn't mean that I, 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 I playing, replaying the game is going to be a waste of time because I can't even import that save. No, because trust me, some of these stuff you will not remember. So going back and playing the game is is a good idea for people that have played the games already but for newcomers i would recommend you play the games anyways so that you don't miss out on the feeling of it on what dragon age is about on nobody could tell you that nobody could not even the keep could could give you that experience of playing this game and because some of these characters are returning in dragon age inquisition i would even re recommend it even more especially i mean even if people are like oh dragon age 2 sucked dragon age 2 i love dragon age 2 and it, it's a direct tie it's a direct tie to dragon age inquisition the mage and templar conflict all of that even though dragon age origins was better Dragon Age 2 is more important for Dragon Age Inquisition because it's a direct tie. And some of these characters like Cassandra and Varric, they're coming directly 
from Dragon Age 2. The keep won't be monotonous because this is going to be your save. For people that, that really want what they did to matter, you better put your 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 focus and your effort on this thing. Like even if this was just a survey, if, even if it was just a bunch of questions on a freaking word word document, even then it wouldn't be monotonous for me because these are my decisions. It's like, okay, this is this is the only way they could do it. Whatever. Whatever. I need to answer these questions so that it's it's represented in Dragon Age Inquisition. But it's not. It's not just a word document. It's so much more than that. I've grown to really appreciate it, and I think that's what people really should remember, is what this actually means, and what you're gonna get out of it. It will be open to everyone that has internet access. There is no gameplay, it's not a game, it's not an app, and on average, how long it is, it all depends on you, actually. If you're gonna sit there and actually think about your decisions, let's say you're making a world state up from scratch, um, then that, that, might, that might take you a short while, that might take you a long while, or if you just finished playing the game and everything's really fresh, you get through that fast, you're like, oh, I remember all this. Or if you're like me, that you haven't played the game in a long time, and you're just like, uh, and you have to really think about things, it'll take, it'll take you a bit longer. Yes, you can change your saved uh, game choices because you are starting your world state from pretty much from scratch. Let me find out for you guys. I will ask and see if I could get a question, an answer. If I do get an answer, I'll just put it here somewhere. If you want to have a Dalish elf in one world state and a human noble in another world state, you could go ahead and do that. I don't know if they're going to change the limit of the world states, but right now you can have five. You do need to have an account with Origins to use the keep. One world state includes Dragon Age Origins, your decisions from Dragon Age Origins, and Dragon Age 2. So it's not like one save file for Dragon Age Origins, another save file for Dragon Age 2, another one for the DLC. All of Dragon Age Origins, all of Dragon Age 2 DLCs is all one world state. In general, I, I, I don't think the, the best word is fun. The word that comes to mind is interesting. And I don't want to be completely vague by saying, oh yeah, it's interesting. No, I mean, by interesting, I mean that I, I really I can't wait even though I am a beta tester I can't wait to see how their how the final product is gonna look because I have been seeing it slowly evolve I think the best words are are interesting because I can't wait to see how it's going to turn out and how what we make is going to be implemented into Dragon Age Inquisition so fun it's kind of a necessity especially for a fan or somebody that really is looking forward to Dragon Age Inquisition and they want to set everything up. It's like, okay, I've got to do this. So it's not like, oh my god, this is so fun. Oh my god, I love this part. You know, it's not like that. It's it's not it's not like a game. Yes, they will still be there. Remember, the keep is is also designed for people that haven't played previous games. So even though you didn't buy the previous games, you could still use the keep. No, you don't have to use the keep to play DAI. DAI does come with a default uh, world state. So it, kind of like it was with Awakening and uh, Awakening and uh, I believe you could, yeah, with Dragon Age 2 as well. You could choose a default, um, but the default the defaults are usually not, at least not by me, not recommended by me. So I would I would definitely recommend you do the keep instead of choosing a default even if you haven't played the, the games previously and you don't want to um, play the games previously I'll use the keep because the defaults and not because I know something about the default I kind of do with what some devs have said uh, and not even not not even talking about the keep this is completely separate the the, the, the experience I've had with defaults it's usually like oh that person's not even in the game or like that person is by default dead or by default you know i'm this specific race say the warden uh by default it's i, I believe a dalish elf and it's like oh i didn't want my default to be a dalish elf 
The release day of the of the keep is up in the air. I have no clue. They did say that they definitely want to release the keep before the game comes out. What that before means, whether it's a week before, a month before, or when, I don't know. But it it is it will be released before DAI is released on November 18th. The keep is kind of considered to be like a vault. Since Dragon Age is going to keep going on, the devs said this very early on in the production of Dragon Age, and even I, be I believe they had even said this like way back, way back then, that they wanted Dragon Age to keep going on. Um, how much longer? I have no, cl no clue, but they do want to continue Dragon Age after Dragon Age Inquisition. So the way the the reason why they made this browser based, like on the internet, is because that way it's easier for them to keep updating. Even during Dragon Age Inquisition's lifespan, even during its release, they could still go back to the keep and add things or fix things. People like, oh, this is wrong or whatever. If, if people catch stuff, they could go ahead and just fix it on the browser. If it was on a disc, it stays that way unless they put a bunch of patches. And we know that patches don't always uh, fix things. So I think they did it this way so that they could constantly be adding things updating things and keep the vault growing and growing and growing as a whole and not as a separate pe as separate pieces that have been included in the discs so far this is just important to dai but whether they'll make that available sometime in the in the future uh i have no clue you just have to apply and have an Origins account. I will have the link in the description where it tells you what you have to do. So yeah, it's, it's simple. The books are not included in the keep. The keep only involves Dragon Age Origins, Dragon Age 2, and the DLCs. Any outside media, the comics, the, the anime, the book, those are all separate. Those are not part of the keep. The keep is going to be free. The only way you would have to pay is if you didn't have internet access already, where you're just like, I have to pay for for internet access, or I have to pay some place to, to use a computer with internet. That's the only way you would have to pay, but actually pay for the keep? That's, you're not gonna pay for the keep. The keep, the keep is completely free. It's like any other website you would just log into. So that's pretty much it. Um, I tried to answer as much as I could. Uh, obviously, I didn't answer everything. If you're like, oh, you didn't answer my question, it's probably because I can't answer that question because it would probably involve too much information that I'm not allowed to reveal right now. I tried to answer questions that gave you more of an idea of what the keep is about, but most importantly of why they made it uh, and how it started and what it stands for because I think that's the most important thing because a lot of people don't understand that the import save as it was from game to game from console to console from platform to platform as it was it was not perfect the the complexity of these games um, it, it just it's hard to fix afterwards because there's so many choices so many so many choices br branch off into other little choices and you can't always go back and fix everything because if you change one thing it changes everything else and it's, it's that ripple effect that they were talking about they're doing this for us so that we can have a world state that actually represents what we did let me know in the comments down below did you ever experience a plot flag thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your questions i'll talk to you guys later